Hello. Good Monday morning, everybody. I need a tagline for when I pop in every day. Remember when Burns used to introduce and now it's just me? What's going on, everyone? Yep. Welcome to the Dude Comedy Podcast, episode 200-something. Welcome Sick. to the show. 206. We got we, we to make some money real quick before we uh, entertain you with all of our hot button issues. Uh, Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos all commission-free. They strive to make financial services work for everyone, not just the wealthy. It is a non-intimidating way for stock market newcomers to invest for the first time with true confidence. Simple and intuitive, clear design with data presented in an easy-to-digest way. I don't know about you guys, but it's uh, it's a lot easier just to do it yourself and not pay any fees. Amen to that. Than pay to some guy doing something that you don't even know. When, when you can just get it all right in front of you. There's no cost or uh, no commission fees. Other brokerages charge you up to $10 for every trade. 10 so bucks? And Imagine bucks, if man. you're only trading 100 bucks. Right? That, could add up, man. Could add up. It doesn't charge commission fees. Trade stocks and keep all of your profits. It's easy to understand charts and market data. Place a trade in just four taps on your smartphone. The Robinhood web platform also lets you view stock collections, like 100 of the most popular, or sections like entertainment and social media and curated categories like female CEOs and analyst ratings of buy, hold, sell for every stock. Learn by doing. Learn how to invest as you build your portfolio. Discover new stocks and track favorite companies with personalized news feeds. Custom notifications for price movements movements so you never miss the right moment to invest. And Robinhood is giving listeners of the Do Comedy Podcast a free stock. like One Apple free Ford. stock. Yeah, like Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help build your portfolio. Sign up today. Yeah. At dudecomedy.com or dudecomedy.robinhood.com. That's dudecomedy.robinhood.com. Colby Bang. has the free stock much. open. What is your free stock going to be, Colby? Uh, well, here's the thing. I'm not an investor uh, to give anyone knowledge, but you know what? I'm going to bank on waiting out and getting Uber when it goes live. Because Uber's going to blow up. Uber's not public? No, that they're waiting. It's I just I uh, read some article that they had like there's a little hiccup. Not just so you guys know we can't give stock recommendations. Oh yeah. No, hey, not... we weren't. He was. We were just seeing what uh, what he <laughs> was going to choose. Was... No, no. He wasn't That's giving a recommendation. The, whatever he just said wasn't isn't even on the stock market. That ain't no yeah. recommendation. Yeah. So invest at your own power. So what's up, birds? How was your weekend? You get your girl pregnant yet? Nope. Nope. Uh, we're <laughs> avoiding that so far. You saving sex for marriage? <laughs> no well, oh, have you shit. got do you guys pay attention to like the bats like i don't shout pay... out there right there a little mint mobile shout out Ooh, there. ooh, it says mint on there yeah the top of yours says verizon yeah well okay. what were you saying kyle oh i was gonna say i i i don't watch the bachelor bachelorette or anything but the dude on it i just have seen like commercials and it's like this huge big fuss that he's a virgin yeah, isn't that weird? And that's how they sell it. That's how they're marketing the show. Yeah, but isn't it crazy that it? That's what it comes. They're I, like, I feel like, I feel like that's not true, and it's a it's a selling point of the show. Yeah, but I they like love, uh, suspense it out, like it's like it's his big night. Look at <laughs> they like I was. We watched the Today Show, and they were like analyzing the look on his face, whether he's had sex or not. Isn't that kind of weird? I have a, a bachelor take. That uh, it, it's kind of like Kyle and my take, Kyle and my, Kyle and I's take for uh, alcohol. If you're a dude and you watch The Bachelor, you just have to own it. You can't use the excuse like, well, I just watch it because my wife watches it or my girl. I hate that. Oh, hell just no. Say, I, 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 I've watched probably like, like three or four seasons. And that's the thing. It's, it's, I have no problem if anybody likes any show that's out there. If they own it, if they just say like... Yeah, my wife watches it and I enjoy it. But I hate that excuse. Like the, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I hate that excuse of like, I only watch it because my wife has it on. Like, you like it. It's a TV show. It's just like any other of those reality shows. If it hooks you a certain way, like Jersey Shore used to hook me. Yeah, it was a terrible show. But at some point, I was like, I'm so committed. I got to see how it ends. So just own it, people. But there's an asterisk own to it. owning it, though. If you own it and you're like, I just love the storyline of these like these amazing oh, yeah. women and all that stuff, you're a fucking liar. But if you like, I watch it for pure comedy. Like there'll be a, like a super sad romantic scene, and like Rachel's like almost in tears. I'm like cracking up. I'm like, this is the corniest fucking shit. And I don't necessarily trust a woman who's super into that because that show is not reality. Like there's nobody, no, no relationship is like that at all. 
Every well, relationship okay. is the same. Yeah, you do some different shit, but it all ends up being like, all right, let's just like, you know, after like the lust phase, it's just all, you know, it's all. Where do you want to eat? Yeah. I don't know. Where do you want to eat? Yeah, exactly. My uh, my favorite type of character on there is the one that uh, that has uh, too high of expectations and it totally explains why they're not with someone. There was like, a, what was it, Bachelor in Paradise or something? And there was some like sure. uh, blonde who was uh, like 35 or whatever and like just totally oblivious to like the dude didn't really want to be with her anymore. She's like, oh, we're so in love. And, you know, she's got those high expectations, like super handsome, super tall, huge dick, but super nice and super sweet. And yeah. Oh, but then she have... ends up dating the complete opposite type of dude. Yeah, and then she's like, she's oh, I just, I just want to be happy. It's like, you're just asking for too much. No, all, anybody, okay, anybody, I, like, it fucking annoys me so much that these people, like, act like they can't find love in the real world. Right? And they have to be on the show. It's not, like, it's not like they're not attractive. Yeah, to me, if they said, like, you know, it'd be cool to find love, but, like, sell my fucking brand out here bitch like that's what they're doing you know a yeah. lot of them have like it'll be like you you know when they show like their description or whatever it'll be like aspiring singer and you're like okay yeah. actually yeah. i have a funny story with uh i can't remember her name but there's a a bachelorette well it was a girl that was on the show she wasn't one of the main like the main person and then the dudes are going after she was just a girl and a handful she got pretty late but she's from our hometown, Maple Valley, well, my hometown, and uh, it's when I was kind of like booming on YouTube. So she was dating a dude that I graduated with, um, and the dude hit me up, and he's like, "Dude, he's like, my girl's popping right now. Like, she's like, she's like, like getting famous pretty fast. She, he's like, you guys should do like a little like play date, like hangout." And I'm like, "What? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Right? Like, what do you even mean?" He's like, oh, you know, just kind of, like, hang out with each other, shoot some, like, you know, like, just, just like, a little hangout day. And I'm like, what are you fucking talking about? Like, what is that? That doesn't even make sense. Like, how how would am I, I mean, am I going to say to Rachel, hey, I'm going to the park to hang out with that one girl from Bachelorette, you know? I'm like, what are For you? content, dude. I'm like, what are you talking, like, this is weird, dude. Like, you could, there's, I don't know if you're just trying to, like, tell me, like, she's all, she's, she's hot right now because she was on the show, but it's like. I, I even told like him straight up. I'm like, dude. I'm like, dude, I don't give a shit about that. Like, I don't care if it was fucking Patrick Swayze. Like, I'm not gonna go have a fucking hangout date with you and your girlfriend or with your girlfriend just because she's was on the show. You know, like it was super uncomfortable because I've known the kid for forever. Like he has, like he has like 14 brothers and sisters, and uh, I mean I've known him and one of his older brothers. You know, since I was in like junior high, like, we used to skateboard together. You know. So I'm like, what in the fuck are you going for right now? This is super weird. I think he might have wanted you to bang his girlfriend, honestly. I mean, a little, a little cuckold there. <laughs> but but then I wanted to tell him like, so that's that's another thing. She was on the show while she was dating him. Well, they're all at the most of them are all actor type people. Yeah, there's a girl in Utah uh, that was on the show when I lived there. It was the same situation where she like was a uh what's it like a like a sideline reporter and everyone knew like you know she like privated her instagram and stuff but she still had a boyfriend and everything like yeah while was on the show but she just looked the part so they the thing it. is like the majority of them like are making out with the dude like how could you like because like think about it, you go like that girl's gonna go home and like she was all over this dude she's gonna go home and a year later when it airs like be like whoops even if the boyfriend was like yeah that's fine but you see it and you're just like uh i don't think i could watch it no i don't think i'd watch it even if like your wife was an actress and had to like have a sex scene in a movie i'd be like yeah i'm out <laughs> yeah. like but nowadays was, like jennifer anderson then it's like okay uh, you're hot enough where it's okay <laughs> yeah but like now it's like okay even if you were an actor do you really think that would propel your acting career i would say no because how many of I, them have been actors and are fucking nowhere to be seen I think Burns made the point when he was just like, uh, remember that one girl from that one? It was like, but you don't know her name or anything. It's just yeah. like, that doesn't launch you anywhere. It's just a, I mean, will you put that as a credit? Like, oh, it's on The Bachelorette. Like, yeah, it sweet. just shows you how like dumb these Facebook moms are. Because usually at the end of the year, they do like the reunion, right? And it's yeah. all just fucking short haircut women in the, in the uh, stands and stuff. Oh, and Karen? They, 
Yeah, then they like <laughs> think that your manager. They like yeah. think that shit is just diehard realistic stuff, and they're like shouting their opinions, like, "No, he did not." You know, it's just like, <laughs> who the fuck are you? Like, why but that's you... what's funny though. It's the people who made these shows, like, just, uh, just for the, those people. Yeah, the Jersey Shore example is the same way. Like Jersey Shore, when it got popular, hit like that college, young college demo that was living a similar Jersey Shore life, but like not there yeah so you kind of got to see it from like but, all these little sound bites and stuff yeah but they like, marketed it as like look, come watch these goofy ass people like they would oh, like yeah, market sure. like the outtakes and things like that but it's like I, i'm just curious about you know like the bachelor bachelorette because like sometimes they'll show like kind of like bloopers and stuff but they like market it as like this like dream Real life thing. basically I like know. imagine like all the Karens different. in the audience being, you know, like now they expect they have expectations out of their husbands. I think there's like two different people that watch that show. There's like you guys who just are there to make fun of it or just watch it for just the entertainment factor. And some people are like, this is my life. It's real. I mean, people do brackets. <laughs> people do brackets for it. I there's swear. probably mainstream betting for it. <laughs> Which is just insane. As yeah, just a reality. Uh, uh, I want to. I have a good story actually that I was uh, the YouTube video I found today. It was like a half hour long, but it, it sucked me in. Oh great! I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have Colby pull up this guy. All right, his name yeah. is Chris Watts. W A T T S. All right. So he he was uh, convicted of murdering his entire family. Right, his oh. wife. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. His pregnant, wife, his pregnant wife and his two kids. But the video I was watching is that the police. Uh, body cam footage when the police came to his house uh, and all the audio was released and this guy's breaking it down so basically the friends of the wife are like you know she didn't bring the kids to school today wait is this a sketchy ass dude this is the dude like recently that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was like in august and, and he got like just, interviewed yeah and he disposed the body and he was just like way too calm the colorado yeah, one. No, but I, the video of like the video of the police going to his house is just insane because obviously the guy's like the first the friends call the police to do like a wellness check because she's like she's pregnant and we were with her last night and she wasn't feeling well we like had to force her to eat because you know she's pregnant we were looking out for her and like her kids didn't go to school today her car is here and the house is all locked up so the police comes and he's like knocking on all the windows because he's just like what if she's because apparently she was diabetic too she's like i just want to make sure you know i can't go in without the husband's permission but maybe the kids are in there and he's just knocking on the door and he calls the husband. The husband's like, I'm home. I'm on my way home from work right now. And he gets there and he lets the police in and the friends in. And the police officer is obvious, like, something's fucking wrong going on. Something yeah, is yeah. wrong going on right now. He's just kind of, like, doing his wellness check of the house. <clears throat> and, like, the, the guy that he's, he's asking questions about the guy. And he's, like, not even concerned at all. Like, when the guy gets to the house, if your wife and your kids were missing, you're bashing your fucking front door down. Oh, yeah. And looking for him, right? This guy just, like, casually, like, walking into the house walking around finds her cell phone and she's like oh she always has a cell phone on her but she never leaves home without it i don't know why it's here like not concerned at all so obviously the cop is like there's something that's fucking up right now and then they go talk to the, the neighbors like outside when the cops go around it's like what's going on he's like oh they're looking for the neighbor and the friend's like the neighbor has a security camera you see i've phone. seen that part where they, he goes over and he's like looking at the footage yeah, and you can tell, like, he's just shitting his pants. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> imagine how scared you'd be if you just murdered three people, and then and you then get home them. and the cops are there, and you're like, fuck. And the cop's like, we're going to watch this video, and he's like, he's like, oh, does this, is this always recording? And the guy's like, yeah, it records 100% of the time, 24-7. And, like, what, what was the video? Like, the truck backing into the garage or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> Where he, like, put the and body he's just in. like he's just, like, looking at But That's he still right. had an yeah. interview after that, like, with yeah, the local news station. Uh, That's this one right here I just clicked on. Did they ever fix, say, what was up with, like, his motive? Here, here, No, here's the best. Here's my favorite part. So before I go into it, you guys remember Scott Peterson? We were talking. You think me and Colby? Yeah, talked yeah, that's Scott we Peterson. talked about. Yeah. So it was similar. So this guy, uh, Chris Watts, had a mistress, right? And they they looked up uh, her internet history, the mistress's internet history, and she was looking up like Ken Cops trace text messages, and then she was looking up. Uh, she was like, "What is Scott Peterson's mistress's?" net worth how much does she get for her book deal what do people hate her yeah oh yeah well, one of the searches God. was like do people hate scott Pe peterson's mistress yeah and she like started like making videos and stuff too i want to say what so you gotta wonder if like she was in on it because she didn't get charged with anything 
but Ooh. now it, so the article right now so i just typed it in to see if there's any motive or anything the they were the, separating right and she had yeah like, she had uh his original story was that he killed she his killed wife. The, and she killed the kids yeah, yeah but she was strangling the kids yeah. but then they did the autopsy i believe and it was like no yeah, but I you guess. would t but you would if that was real you would tell them that you wouldn't fucking go dump all the bodies behind a dumpster or whatever the hell. Well, she did. like buried her in a shallow grave, and she put he put the kids in like an oil bar oil, oil barrel or something like that. Burnt so down? this is uh this is the most recent uh, article about him. It's it's about supposedly Chris Watts had a gay lover, <laughs> and yeah, the so gay bad. lover wants to have visitation rights to see the man he calls a monster one last time. Trent, whatever his last name is, claims to have had a ten month relationship with Chris Watt. He says he wants to visit him, who was a convicted murderer, one last time. Uh, Watts pleaded guilty in November to killing his wife. Investig investigators believe he launched the killings in order to start a new life with his mistress and co-worker, Nicole Kissinger. So yeah. he's also gay, huh? <laughs> Super gay. <laughs> Speaking of that, Jake Paul. Uh, we'll, we'll hit on this Another short. One. Other one, other one, other no, one. No, just hit on this super fast, Logan. super gay. Leg oh, Lo I thought you were saying the other topic. Logan Paul. Yeah, this is Logan yeah, Paul. Yeah. He's going gay. Logan so, Paul's the one that said it, not Jake. Yeah, so he, I mean, we are a little late to this, but I just have a quick opinion. But he's just completely getting shit on because he made a joke. I believe it was a joke. Uh, the context is really tough because he does that. It was from his podcast. Yeah, it has, oh, I'll pull it, it, I'll pull it, it has to be a joke. He basically said for... Um, for Gay Pride Month, he's gonna go gay for a month, and he is just getting absolutely shit on. So he's just joking, then, right? I didn't even like looked into the context. Yeah, he had. Yeah, to, he was just I joking don't... on his podcast, but he's uh... getting absolutely annihilated for it. Which, to me, I'm like, as people are like, oh, like when Colby sent it to me, I'm like, oh, this fucking idiot. But then I'm like, hopefully, I don't get ultra. F I mean, you know, famous like that because I would be fucked. You know how many like crazy ass things I've said? Oh, like, they dig up your history so quick. Uh, uh, okay, so here's this is the I'm gonna this is all the quotes right here. This is an, actually an MTV or oh, USA Today article. So here's I'm gonna read it the context wise. So this is why the context matters because this is how they're getting clicks. First sentence: Logan Paul, the controversial top ten YouTube earner, with a link to another one of their articles about being a top ten YouTube earner who made headlines after posting footage of the parrot's suicide in the Japanese forest, apologized for saying he would go gay for a month. The recent trouble for Paul, 23, began last week when his co-host began discussing month-by-month -month New Year's resolutions on their podcast. When it came to March, Logan said, it's male-only March. We're going to attempt to go gay for just one month. People swiftly condemned the comment. So here's what's... That got... So there's the context of it, right? People reached out to Logan Paul saying, like, that's not how it works, yada, yada, yada. Popular YouTubers like Joey Garcefa and Daniel Prida tweeted that Logan's massive social pro uh, profile could be used for good, and this is bad. Uh, Logan Paul joking about going gay for one month while countless LGBT people around the world are being killed and committing suicide for the sexuality is disgusting. People just shredded him like that. Uh, Logan came out and said he called his comments a very cho poor choice of words, and it was my fault. He invited the uh, GLAD people onto his podca podcast to use his platform for good. And no one cares about that. They just want to shit on him. And I'm going to go with Kyle here and say, like, hey, a poor joke taste. I don't think he was making it, like, to make it. Uh, was it a poor joke, though? I mean, I don't that's kind of funny that you say, like, hey, fuck it. I'm going to go gay for a month for gay pride. Like, you know, I mean, it is giving awareness to gay people. That's what the purpose of the month. But, I mean... If that's blowing up as like headline news, it's crazy though. The thing like he makes so let's say let's just for let's just say just for the sake of argument, it's just a a bad joke in poor taste or something like that. There's people in like other countries that are like thrown off of buildings and like kidnapped and tortured and like for being gay, and they're like this man's making a joke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the thing is, that's like total world perspective like yeah. i've said the word like faggot on the show but in like kind of like my culture and stuff that doesn't even mean that has nothing to do with gay people or anything to me you know i when anytime i say the word i don't think to fucking indonesia where they just slice somebody's throat for 
possibly being gay, you know? It's like you can't it's it's hard for somebody that's not just he's not trained in a world perspective. Yeah, he did get in trouble for um the suicide thing, but I mean, to me it was I, clearly a joke and it's like it's like certain people like Ethan could have easily said that joke, H three H three, and been totally cool. But it's just certain people that That's yeah. I mean, they got a shitload of clicks for the suicide stuff, so you know, they just been kinda sitting waiting him to kinda slip up and in, in, well, they've been trying with other stuff that he's done, and nothing's really stuck, like uh, other controversial things. So, like, he had the younger, the little JoJo Siwa girl, whatever, like the most popular young YouTube girl on. Then his next episode had, like, Riley Reed on, and they're like, you promote a podcast with a 14-year-old, like, superstar, and then the next one you have, like, a popular porn star. Like, what if the fans watch the next one? He's like, I clearly, at the start of the episode, had a two-minute warning saying, this is a more aggressive, mature audience, like podcasts. Like, so it's just, and they're trying to stick anything like you're saying, because at the top of that article was backlinks to their own links. Yeah. Being two articles posted about them. And it's easier to drag somebody on the coals nowadays. Why not do it? Like all those people on Twitter who were saying like, oh, this is so bad. Da, 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 they're all getting likes and retweets too. So they're, they're loving it. Oh, yeah. It's just people, people defending him are doing the same thing. Like if you went on Twitter right now to defend Logan Paul, you would be doing it knowingly getting into arguments with people knowing that it's going to go out there to more people. Like it's, it's both sides. It's hypocritical on both sides for anyone. The best thing that p- could have happened is no one said anything. And it was just a podcast joke. That's all it was. Yeah, I, mean, like, I mean, in the end he's winning from it. I mean, what? He's just going to apologize. And I feel like we're always talking about him. He's always no, for sure. <laughs> Yeah. He's a very calculated 23-year-old. I feel like he knows how to, like, skate through certain things. Like, yeah, he probably said it. And even after saying it and they released the episode, probably was like, oh, I might and not have been good. The episode's probably still up. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, speaking of crazy internet things, have you guys seen The Egg? Oh, yeah. Egg. Instagram. Blowing up. New record. You didn't see it, Burns, because I told you. Well, you, you explained it to me before the show, so I have seen it. So I wish I I wish I would have looked. Maybe I still have it up. So, oh my gosh! Like from the last refresh, which was at the start of the show, it's gained over a hundred thousand followers. There's a viral Instagram going on where somebody posted an egg with the purpose of having the world record likes on Instagram. Because at at one point, Kylie Jenner of her baby holding her finger had 18 million likes. This guy's purpose is to post one picture of one egg and it has 33 million likes. So it's by the end of the day, it will easily be double the world record. Yeah, it's crazy. It's one of those things where it's like a snowball and uh, the snowball just rolled and rolled and rolled. And now it's just blowing up. I had a thing up, but I can't find it. Yeah, it's just crazy. Like someone just sat there and was like, "I'm gonna make an egg profile. Let's blow it up," and it worked. It's so funny looking Probably at Probably Jimmy Kimmel. That would be funny. It actually might be, but that would be funny. Like it's crazy. Like people on in the comment section, because there's lots of basically on Instagram. It's all about like commenting on other people's things. So you basically turn into a. Uh, you just turn it, you just find all like what's hot and you go comment and like write something fucking stupid. Like the top comments, like men's humor. They're all verified people because that's what, uh, that's what people do. They go to the comment section. Oh, somebody verified said something. We got to like that. Um, you know, like fuck Jerry, he's this comment on it. Uh, the just sold It's all like the popular Instagrammers cause they all like fucking leech on the stuff and they have to comment. It's funny. I'll see, complete douchebag people with viral content and then i see one of like my friends will like comment and stuff on it just so he could get the exposure in their comment section it's well that's like uh burns and i talked about it when the episode we did it there's uh one of jake paul's dudes so instagram was like being super weird and this world star video only had like 200 comments for some reason with all these views and it was the same guy like jake or jack tapper or something like that and then he just commented three eye emojis, uh, four eye emojis, five high heart emojis, six heart emojis. You could see them all stacked. And he probably was just hoping that one of them would become the top comment, you know, because he's verified. Yeah. Uh, and I, I took a screenshot of it. And I'm like, what a just a douche, man. 
No, they all do it. I think it's, I think, uh, social media. So I think the time that it is like that t people take to find like manipulations and tools and all this stuff is so crazy to me that when the idea of it, when it was started, was just to like network with people that you know or network with friends, right? Yeah. But now everything is a game and everything is judged on followers and like ratios and comments and view time and, and whatnot. And it's just kind of funny how fast it went from like, oh, my social network on Facebook is only people in my college. I'm not even allowed to add anybody else from another school. Yeah. To okay, I just posted this egg picture or this egg picture is popular. What should we comment to try and go get some followers from it? Like, it's just weird. Yeah. I'm, Times are weird, man. My computer's trying to restart right now. I just told it not to, though. <laughs> yeah, for the fans, dude. For the fans. For the fans. For the funds. Cool. Now oh, what? hey, wait. Do we have to... Uh, is there a second spot? No, it's uh, Thursday. Oh, okay. Sorry. We had some internal uh, discussion going on that leaked out onto the show. <laughs> so now what, Burns? What do we go? Where do we go from here, Burns? I don't know, man. Did you? Uh, this is kind of an old story, but I saw it on Philip DeFranco's. I think he did it on Friday, where uh, there was like a woman in a vegetative state in the hospital. Oh, I saw that. That up, makes me she sick. She ended up getting pregnant, dude. What the fuck? That's like some Law and Order SVU storyline stuff yeah, like happening. And they're like, uh, the comp like everyone was obviously that they uh, it happened. Someone raped her that works there, right? And the company said, you know, we can't make our employees take a DNA test. Why? Well, Which show? Yeah. Can the police make you do it though? I don't know. Eh, she didn't feel it. Oh, that's fucked up. I oh God, said God. That. I shouldn't have said that. Remember Terry Shivo? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Where they were like, wasn't it like taking her off life support or something like that? Yeah. Um, so we were watching Planet Earth 2 last night, and there were some hibernating bears. Hibernating bears are fucking crazy. Hibernating bear facts. The uh, thing with that story, just to tie the bow on it, which sucks, is people in the world suck, man. That's just terrible that you, like, you never would think that would happen, and it, it happened. It's just terrible. There's something happy. I'm going to find something happy. Did you know hibernating Please bears... Did you Slightly. know the mother gives birth while she's hibernating and that the cubs feed and everything while she's asleep? What? How about fucking that? <laughs> and did like did you know like we have like we can't figure out what makes bears hibernate? Cuz if we knew how to do that, we can do probably deep space travel cuz we could use that how to hibernate? Yeah. Yep. Cuz they when they hibernate, their heart beats at 6 beats a minute. That's crazy. Let's see. What else do we got? Oh, this is this is a deep... Ah, I wish I would have read this earlier and acted like I came up with it. I would have looked so smart. The internet banding together to like an egg just in order just in order to beat someone else is pretty much modern social media internet in an eggshell. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, had, uh, well, I had something else I was going to talk about. I feel like the days just blur, dude. Now it's a Monday. I feel like since... Uh, Halloween has just been like a ride, a blur. Uh, went to Kyle's on Sunday, Saturday. That's that was not what I was going to talk about, though. What do you guys do? You guys went out and you're like sending me shit. Yeah, well, it's, uh, was we that went, current? So, yeah, that was the, that night. Uh, me, my uh, my buddy Ken, who's a fan of the show, uh, we went over to my buddy Andy's. We're going to go over to watch the game, the second game, but timing wise, just didn't work. So we're like, hey, let's just turn it into a night party. You know, like we don't really go out anymore. We're old. You know, got kids. We're like, well, let's do it, man. Once in, once in a month, you got to go out in the town. So mm -hmm. we get down there. Then I get to the bar, and I'm like, crap, you know what? I'm so close to Kyle's brother. Kyle's brother leaves. I'm going to text him and see if, he, if he's doing anything. I'm just like, hey, Aaron, I'm at this bar if you want to come. He's like, all right, in an Uber, be there in 10. I was like, holy shit, that was quick. Damn. Yeah. So Did you guys got... take your shots that I told you to take? Yeah, and that was the m biggest mistake. Then Why didn't you take a video? Uh, it was a t so it was like we ordered them from a, a like a sidebar, you know, like a cash only sidebar. Yeah. And so the line like kind of snaked weird. So af as we ordered it, we were going to take them and then like film. But we uh, like Seth and Aaron and Andy kind of got like separated. They had to go to the other side. So we just kind of like just no. took them real quick and got out of there. 
Our original plan was to film it, but no beersy videos. Uh, I don't think Ken took it out because he didn't want to lose it. <laughs> Which actually would have been good though that we didn't take it out because I don't. I think everything was in bottles all night. Well, no, you bring the beer in the car and you walk. And then when you finish it right before the bar and you put it in your pocket. Yeah, I know we could have done that, but we took scooters. You can rent scooters downtown. That would be even better. Dude, I'm gonna get so fucking sued for that. I can't wait. Uh, I don't think you'll get sued. I no, think you're I'll, covered. So if you I get off. a cease and desist, though, I still get 45. There's a time frame, right? I believe so. Yeah. You can't. I think you can't give an immediate cease and desist, can you? Not not under parity law. So like, you got to look at it like uh, I'm not a lawyer, not giving legal advice here, but like, let's say you made a shirt that had a similar, uh, like if it's a public company or a public figure, parody law means that you can like manipulate it a certain way into a joke and you can, you can profit off of it. Yeah. So I think with your case, as long as you're not like infringing on the actual product, which would be like, if you made a knockoff Coca-Cola, like, like Pepsi and yeah. then tried to say it was Coke, I think you'll be fine for at least yeah for at least until you can get a better lawyer than me right now oh i'm just concerned because i do see people have parody shirts and stuff like for for like popular brands but that's a t-shirt that you're wearing i'm yeah. trying to make you know coke is a drink and it's a drinking product but at the end of the day it's only a thousand units and I think that if they gave me a cease and desist, it's like 30 days or 15 days. Like I could probably go hardcore and sell them all before they desist me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So I typed in, does Coca-Cola fall under parody law? And then it says parody law and fair use. All right, I'm opening this right now. If you and don't know, we're, this... we're talking about the Beersy product that I have. And I did post a little teaser on Snapchat and people were like, what in the fuck is, I need one. I had like 15 or 20 people in a matter of like 15 minutes. Yeah, I, I think it's a, I think you will have a problem selling them. Uh, the Coca-Cola. Oh, so it's what I said, basically. The Coca-Cola company, which has trademarks on logos and product, is the producer and the licensor of the Coke beverage. So as long as you, I mean, as long as, long as you're not like making a Coke knockoff. Yeah. But it says it falls under parody law, under common law, the fair use doctrine of the descriptions of the Supreme Court. Copyright material as parody is accessible and legal, acceptable and legal. So we're good. We should make a do. So basically what I can do is so when you order this stuff from my old Chinese friends, the order is based off the color of the silicone. So it has to be a minimum 500 unit order, but the design could be anything we want. So if we wanted to make like, 25 custom dude comedy dude comedy designs you know like it would be kind of cool to be like you know dude comedy soda or something like that like we could easily yeah. do that you know i like that but i like dude comedy soda yeah but that's so we'll sell the first batch first and then we'll sponsor the show with it yeah see if we can like just make like all right guys there's only 25 and that would be kind of cool for people, you know, like we did with the shirts. But shirts are fucking boring. Like, I, I've i never had any interest in, like, like just merch. Because everybody has merch now. Like, it's just fucking boring. Did you ever do really good off your birch burns? Not really. Well, yeah. I think that merch is just such a, a, it's such a word that's thrown around for not, like, what it really is, right? So, merch, merchandise. But you're, like, a, a internet What's a good word? You're an internet comedian, or Burns is a, a internet troll on video games. Like, to get somebody to sacrifice hard-earned bucks for like that, it should be a different word than merch. When I think merchandise, I think about going to a sporting event. Yeah, buying like, like a jersey or a t-shirt. And like a jersey or yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Or like a uh, or like a merch merch uh merch. Another example would be like how Walmart sells like popular TV show like things. Yeah. Like a Pokemon shirt or like a Deadpool shirt, like merchandise for a big franchise. But I feel like even like Logan Paul, I don't think that I don't consider that merch. I think it's like a brand. It's, it's like, like fan gear. Brand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fan gear. That's a way better word because I feel like merch is just like, uh, <laughs> yeah, here's our Duke comedy merch. It's like, no, we've made a brand. Here's the brand. Duke comedy shirt. Yeah. It's weird. 
Yeah, I, I mean, even like the shirts that I used to have, I, was, I would never even go like find people to make them for me. I'd be like, oh, I'll just fucking make them myself. They were so st- actually, I did have some. I had like an animal line because I really was like into like the mountain shirts where they just have like animals on their shirts. But I didn't. It wasn't even like because I'm like everybody does merch, so like this doesn't really have much interest to me. I don't remember how we did with like the shirts that we did for like three months on here. <laughs> well, I think the problem too is like markup versus sell- sales versus like your bottom line. Like you don't want to sell a shirt for twenty five dollars. You don't want to because you wouldn't want to go buy a twenty five dollars shirt. Yeah. But in the situation where the company making the shirt is going to cost you thirteen fifty, it's like, well, shoot, should I sell it for fifteen and make two bucks? Like uh, I don't know. Yeah, because even do? a fifteen dollars shirt isn't cheap. Yeah, it's like you, you're in a weird like you're in a weird spot where you don't want to overcharge people, but you also don't want to like promote something that it's only going to make you like four bucks. Yeah, exactly. Merch is weird. Merch is gay, and I don't mean butt sex. Nice. What's up with the Fort World? I kind of been disconnected. Um, Burns, the they're Fort adding World. a new item next patch called the redeploy item. Oh. They're not bringing it back. They're making it an item that will take up one of your inventory slots. They come that's, in stacks of 10. That's cool. Oh, so you can just use it whenever? You don't have to be selecting it to use it. Like, if you have it in your inventory and you jump off, it'll take Have one. you, I've, since you, so you haven't really stopped playing, but have you noticed, like, what a lot of people are saying, that mobility is just so crazy nowadays? With the, so many- there's just so many ways. You got planes, launch pads, zip lines, wrists, zip lines, rifts. Balloons, well, I guarantee balloons. they figured out that, you know, the more mobility they put in there is the higher retention rate, therefore leading to more on that bottom line. Better end games and stuff like that. Yeah. I, haven't, I just don't. Yeah. When's the last time I had a final battle where actually like when I first started playing, you would get it down to like the final circle. But it seems like nowadays you never even get close to the final circle. Yeah. Because there's so many Soul things that just right. annihilate your fort, you know? Yeah. yeah, I rarely play solos, and I played solo uh, one night. Kyle and Ken hopped off, and I was like, oh, I'm still kind of – I got enough energy. So I played a couple, and then I finally had a good one. And I had like four or five kills, which is, you know, above average for me. I'm not really pushing action. And uh, I pro play this at the end. I throw a, you know, port of, fort, port of fortress into the storm area, go back, grab the med kit, uh, right as the storm's coming, so then I, I had the open slot for it. Ramp up, take my med kit, go kill two more people, and then as I'm like healing up, I just get one tapped by like a SMG spray, and I'm like, this game's so fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah, the, the craziest game that I had in a while, and I was, <clears throat> and it was in a duel that I was already dead, and it was one of those pop up cups uh, where it's like the competitive play. Oh, that was, sounds uh, fun. It was uh the storm the circle was in fatal fields and it was the circle where it moves back into the storm you know like the circle yeah, yeah. like moves back into the storm there was twenty three people left what yeah, it's, what's <laughs> the point dude what is the point you were in the game I was dead but my teammate was alive there was twenty three oh. people left when it was moving outside back into the storm jeez yeah I think that uh so we played we got home from the bar on Saturday we played uh, Halo uh. The collection when you can still play all the old Halos. And we turned on just two and three. And literally we're finding games instantly, like for two hours. But I think the thing with like what Fortnite has where Halo doesn't is like even when I would die in Halo, it was like, Oh well, I'm back, like going to go try and kill a game. But when you die in Fortnite, like it sits with you for at least two minutes until you launch again. So I feel like that's what makes like Battle Royale so more like so much more addicting is like even when you die, like that story I said, when I died and I was so pissed, it was like, ah, I got to play another one. I can't end on that. But right. like in Halo, even when the game ended, it was just like, oh, well, like we'll just launch again. We'll boot up another one. I love Halo we, SWAT. We played, dude, we played Team SWAT. That's what I'm about to say. We played Team SWAT. It was BRs on Guardians. And, you know, we'd, we weren't like we were OK in the normal like Slayer ones. But where it's like late and we're, all the guys that were on there were all just sweaty dudes. We lost like 50 to 14. Oh. <laughs> we did like they were spawn like killing us like i would spawn and just get headshot <laughs> i miss yeah. just the halo was my shit but i miss just sitting there all day and just like because now i mean even with Fortnite, it's you don't you don't get like a new map feeling you know like sometimes on halo you'd be like oh shit i haven't played that map for a while let's play that but it's 
Yeah, I wonder if Fortnite, they have to, you know, come up with some, I mean, I know that's just like a regenerating map, but they should just do a complete overhaul. A whole new map? Yeah, that would be sweet, but or they give probably you like won't. Two maps, or give you like two maps? Yeah. You can do this like every other time or something. Yeah. So what's up with our boy I, Trump? What happened? To, he's just getting annihilated right now. I feel bad oh, for him. A, that's the TSA thing. Let me link. I'll, I'm going to load this story into your Trump thing. The TSA guy in uh, Texas, I think I linked it in here. He uh, So TSA is basically like kind of protesting right now. They're all calling in sick because they're not getting paid and stuff. Yeah. Who do you got to call in sick to? Why can't you just not go in? Or maybe that's what they're doing. There's yeah. no showing. Uh, the guy in uh, in Texas literally just got brought a handgun on his flight and got all the way to Japan with it. It's the number one trending story on Twitter right now. And yeah, it's, like I remember uh, it's getting so bad now that they had to shut down, I think, Bush International Airport in Houston or somewhere. somewhere in I think Texas. that's where it is. I think that's where it is in Texas. Yeah, yeah. They, do, they just had to shut down the whole airport because they don't have anybody working there. So and it's going to keep going. So with that gun thing, like I don't think that has anything to currently do with the TSA. They've done like research. Yeah, the TSA is terrible at catching weapons. Yeah, and, and like they said like 85% of the time they got like a weapon or something through. Jeez. Yeah. So yeah, I, I read a, I read like an AMA on Reddit where a guy was in TSA and someone asked him about like bringing marijuana in the bag. And he's like, I'm not looking. It's not my job to look for drugs in a bag. Like if you have it, and I don't see it, it'll get through. Yeah, that, uh, he's that, like, that, it's yeah. not my job. To, it's not what I'm looking for. It's certain like liquids and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, so, so back to the Trump stuff. I don't know what he burns. Tell us about this because I have no idea. I know he's getting pooped on a lot. But I know thing- he was. Uh, yeah, made fun of Bezos again, though, which is funny. The thing is, he can do whatever the hell he wants. It doesn't matter. If it came out that he murdered somebody 20 years ago, I think he would no still would, be the president. No I, it's one would just, care. No one would care. It's just what a weird crazy. Time. Well, I would care, but I don't think like the people that like him would care. Yeah, no. Well, what did it become to the point that more people, the the I'm going to say this and offend half the people here, when did it become the point where the crazy people – the, or the fifty percent now, like the ones that are like, oh yeah, I don't give a shit if you murdered somebody. Like we still have the power. When did that happen? When did that flip? You know, you know it's so funny. This is this is how like far we've come to like how much crazy we accept. So Bill Clinton was impeached for lying about a blowjob. Right? Yeah, and it's been shown that like basically people that work for Trump were conspiring with like Russians to in- influence the election. And we're just like, man, like that's some really and serious stuff. Porn, uh, porn star. Right? And yeah. He like, he like cheated on his wife with a porn star while she was pregnant. And it's like, we're just like, man, no, I know, is- I'm with it. It's weird. It's the this whole situation is weird now. And to go off Kyle's point too, where like he can do anything he wants. I feel like it's a shouting match in like junior high, you know, and he has the loudest megaphone. And when he's like the, uh, well, we're not going to pay for the wall. He's like, yeah, you will watch. I'll just will shut everything down. And it's like, fuck, he can like, do that. Like he literally could do that. And I don't even I, like people listen. I don't give a fuck about politics. I don't even care what the hell he does, but just the way he acts is, is insane to me that it's accepted. Like, don't we want a president? Like we can all like, even if you're on the opposite side to be like, He's still kind of cool, you know. Well, here's, like, here's what I think, Kyle. Like, respected. don't you, Kyle? Don't you wish, like, you you're someone who doesn't really give a shit about politics. So, don't you wish you could go back to a world where you didn't even know what was going on? You didn't yeah. know the names of their cabinet members. You didn't really know what his wife's name was. You're just like, I'm, I'm just here. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> shit. What, twenty years ago? That well, should be I, uh that I should be remember. the that should be the 2020 slogan: Make politics boring again. So let's think about like. I know we've obviously gotten older in this amount of time, but like when Bush was president, uh, minus the nine 11, like stuff, but you never really like, even when he was doing stuff that was shady and bad and everything, like it it wasn't even in like a news cycle type thing that you would see over and over again. But like Trump's to the point where it's mainstream news and like breaking story all the time when he's just like, Oh yeah, it sucks for Jeff Bezos. Like, Oh, we got to run that. We got to run it. We got to change the title and run it again. The reason that he's president has a lot to do with how much coverage he's given. Like you would think like if the media, like obviously they want to get their clicks, they want to get their ad revenue, they want to get their money. But if like they were serious about not wanting to have like a crazy person run the country, the way Trump acted like in the primaries, any reasonable person would be like, dude, we don't have to cover this guy. He's a fucking nut job. 
Yeah. But they're just like, oh, this guy's so crazy. Let's put him on. He's not no, that's, even they, a they're politician. The why he won. He's they're not a fucking won. politician, and he is running our president as a reality star. Just uh, let yeah, that so. fucking sink in. He is not a politician. He's a fucking reality star. Not even the yep. coolest reality star in the country, and he is running right. the country. He's running the fucking country. Well, that's like when people will say, so uh, people will play the whole thing like, all right, so you want to take a TV star type person, but you say he's a wealthy businessman. It's like, all right, well, let's say it was Mark Cuban running the country. People would like, he's never done anything to where you can already like alienate a huge chunk of people, AKA banging a porn star, you know, like Mark Cuban might have some skeletons come out that he might've said some things or, the whole Dallas like HR thing when that guy was uh, the one of the guys he hired was like preying on the interns and stuff. But like you could just say you could just see it's like it's weird. It's just weird that this guy, like Kyle said, it's like he here's can do the, Here's my favorite thing. All right. So here's my favorite thing that I love, love to see because I think it's just so hypocritical, just total bullshit. So like when, uh, when Obama was president, no matter what you think of his politics or him as a person, like he was like your you're basically model family. You know, he's got wife. He's got what two kids, right? Two kids. He's, it's the only marriage he's had. He, they seem like a reasonably good family. He seems like he loves his wife and his kids, right? And people, and like, then you get these evangelical Christians who are like, he's the antichrist. He hates America. He wants to destroy everything. And then you get President Trump here, who has been married three times, cheated on all of them, has kids with like three different women cheated on her with a porn star and they're like he is god's gift to <laughs> man <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about and it's, the thing is people are sitting yeah. there like and like i said i don't give a fuck about the politics or any decisions he's making you can probably argue that some are good some are not so good i don't give a shit i always think you know regardless of who's ever in there they're gonna make a lot of the same decisions i don't give a fuck I really don't. And people, that's what, when I tell people that, because it's funny, because people are, will be on, I'll post like a meme about Trump, and people will be like, God, oh, you're such a lib. And I'm like, I don't even know what that fucking means. But I don't, it's I, I, It's not like I, it's not like I'm saying like he's a terrible president. You know, I'm not, I'm not even, I'm saying he's a terrible person. You know, I don't give a shit about the politics side, but it's just like, you got to be fucking clueless to sit there and like, try to support some of these things that he says and does like there I, this, there are people out there I, that are just ride kyle. or this die is, this is this is where i think kyle's covered from here it wouldn't matter to kyle if it was a republican or a democrat in office you could probably look at either person that's in the office whether it's an r or a d and you could look at them and be like this person's a reasonable person i probably agree with them on stuff and disagree with them on stuff on some things and they're probably not going to destroy this country i don't have to really think about it Right, and then yeah. you see Trump, and you're just like, "This man is fucking insane." Well, yeah. so if I did vote, if I did vote, I necessarily wouldn't even base that vote off of their political views. Like to me, I don't know what the fuck Bernie Sanders really stood for, but he just seemed like a cool, smart guy. Okay, like I'm not saying I support any of his political views. He's like the cool grandpa. Yeah, I'm not saying I support any of his political views. But I would pro if I had to vote during last you know the last election or whatever, and I know he pro he wasn't he wasn't on the final ballot was he? Uh, no. So well, that's their but fault. if he was on it, I that's probably it, if dude. I was forced to vote would have voted for him just because he seemed cool. Now somebody could be like, why would you worry about all his political views and all this and stuff? Because I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck <laughs> if they if they say hey you know we're gonna tax everybody at fifty percent. I don't give a fuck if they say we're gonna tax at ten percent. I don't give a fuck. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter. You don't. I that. I really don't give a fuck. But he just seemed like a cool dude. What are people seeing in Donald Trump that he's just like a he's like a cult leader basically? Like I don't I don't want to say he's like as charismatic as like a cult leader. Like he's like a cult leader who's not. Most cult leaders are smart, right? He's not. He's not a smart person. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. He's smart enough. He's, he's smart, smart enough. enough. But he he's not smart. He doesn't have like. He not Hitler smart. Things. He doesn't have opinions. He's like, smart he in a reality star type of way. Like he's not remember... like. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I'm just saying he's just not like, like even when he the whole wall thing. I mean, I just don't like. He's smart. Like he, making he's, retards. He's, not, he's he's smart on making like, 
He's like what a dumb person thinks a smart person looks like and sounds like, right? Yeah. So you could ask him to give you a five minute speech on what his immigration policy is, and he probably couldn't make it coherent enough for you to understand what the fuck he's talking about, yeah. right? But he just yeah, says, wall, wall. And then people that are dumb are like, yeah, wall. Not even like yeah. thinking about that's it. That's actually the perfect, uh, the I perfect think that, way to put it. Uh, I think that's like, uh, so when I took like the debate class in college, I know stupid waste of money, but like one of the ways that you can win a debate is, is by getting like, let's say, like you said, you had five minutes you to do a speech. Two minutes might be very, very logical. Like you research everything. Uh, one of the topics that I always talked about was uh, like the uh, what's it like the abortion thing when it's like so like the argument of like, well, is it alive or not alive? That's like what they use as an example in debate class. And it's like, yeah, you can go be an expert on both sides technically because there's no, there's still like technically not a right answer. Like, yeah, it might be alive. Yeah, it might not be alive. So for that two minutes of your speech, you would focus heavily on facts and statistics and stuff that might go over a lot of people's head. But then the way that you weigh your argument is like you bring in, like Burns said, like some some like uh, aggressive, like almost like a joke in a way like, oh, yeah, Mexico is going to pay for this. They hit him with some stuff where it's like, oh, well, were those numbers true? And then it's like, well, by the way, did you know that this person did this? And it's yeah. like, oh, shit. Oh, what? it's just crazy to me that he still like talks about Obama and Hillary. Like, it's, it's just like somebody it's just like some Bezos, super sour. Gonna... It's like a super sour fucking dude. Who just it. like, like he just can't be satisfied that he he was nominated to be the president. Like he's like he just like has to fucking like step on your face. But I'll never like like so if I ask somebody and they say like if so our buddy Jared if I say hey you know he openly supports Trump, but if he's like yeah I like his policy on this I could possibly be like okay but if he goes he's just a he's just a super smart businessman and he's like he's just like. <laughs> I'm just really connecting with a lot of the things that he says, like on Twitter. And I'm gonna be like, "You're a fucking moron," because his Twitter is the most like toxic thing. But he <laughs> does it on purpose. Like that's shit you do. That's like, that's like Jimmy's whole saying. Like it doesn't. He's like, uh, he's like bad press. Or like, or what is his the nope, the no no news is bad news. Yeah, uh, that's literally his Twitter, and he's utilizing that as the head of the country. And it's fucking insane to me. It's so like, I just, I'm gonna, can't I'm gonna read it. off. I'm going to read off one of his answers to a question, and I want you guys to figure out what question he was asked. Let's see if you can do it. Oh, yeah, I like this. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm barely going to be able to do it because it makes no sense. <laughs> so this is the answer, right? We're this, is the, this is the answer. You have to figure it's out what like question. It's like Jeopardy. Okay, 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 okay. And so he goes, look, having nuclear, my uncle was a great professor and scientist and engineer, Dr. John Trump at MIT. Good genes. <laughs> very good genes. Okay, very smart. The Wharton School of Finance. Very good, very smart. You know, if you're a conservative Republican, if I were a liberal, if like, okay, if I ran as a liberal Democrat, they would say, I'm one of the smartest people anywhere in the world. It's true. But when you're a conservative Republican, they try, oh, they do a number. That's why I always start off. Went to Wharton, was a good student. Went there, went there, did this, built the fortune. You know, I have to give my like credentials all the time because we're a little disadvantaged. But you look at the nuclear deal, the thing that really bothers me, it would have been so easy. And it's not as important as these lives are. Nuclear is powerful. My uncle explained that to me many, many years ago, the power. And that was 35 years ago. He would explain the power of what's going to happen. He was right. Who would have thought? But when you look at what's going on with four, the four prisoners, now it used to be three, now it's four. But when it was three, and even now, I would have said it's all in the messenger, fellas. And it's fellas because, you know, they don't, they haven't figured that the women are smarter right now than the men. So, you know, it's going to take them about another 150 years. But the Persians are great negotiators. The Iranians are great negotiators. So, this is all they, one they question. Those, this is what they answered a one question. What is he talking about? I'm going to say the war. What is the war? I don't even know. I they have, even... They, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the, what question was asked and what he could have just easily said. That was just like a stream of consciousness. Wouldn't that take me a minute and a half? Was it something read? based yeah. off nuclear, we nuclear he, weapons? He, they basically That's... asked him like what he thinks about how, how dated our current nuclear arsenal is. Like we can give it through like land, air, and sea. 
or whatever it is like some of his like what, they asked him like what do you think about upgrading them or whatever. he could have just been like yeah it's a little data we have to look at upgrades instead he goes on the stream of consciousness i don't like, even know what you're yeah. talking about half the time <laughs> right? like can people not see that he's a lunatic if he got assassinated i eh. probably shouldn't say go that down that happened. road <laughs> Uh, well. I, I got a good way to tie it up. I sent Burns a, uh, this is breaking news. Burns, open, look at your Skype really quick. Yeah. This is a legit lawsuit, Eric. So we told, this is how we're going to tie it up. We talked about lawsuits with Kyle's, uh, with Kyle's company, uh, you know, parody law. Beersy, you forget oh, the name? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, I blanked for, I almost called it Coca-Cola and I was like, that's not what it is. <laughs> Beersy. So this is a Fortnite tie up as well. So the orange shirt kid. The guy that does that. Yeah. The Orange Justice, yep. Orange jo uh, Mother suing Epic Games now over the dance. Burns has the, the thing in front of you right there. I cannot believe this. This, this who, mom Who thing. is Orange Justice? It's the, it was a, a dance. So, like, uh, Fortnite had a contest to do, like, your own dance, and the winner would be added to the game. And they picked, like, the Boogie Down dance, which you can get for free now. And uh, people wanted the kid who did Orange Justice because they showed all the submissions that were, like, top ten. And they like berated like Fortnite to like put it in the game, so they did, and it's called Orange Justice because it was like the orange shirt kid or whatever. Oh, and now his parents want to sue. Isn't that like the emo dance? Yeah, like the emotes. Yeah, I know. No emo, like you know the like oh, the goth yeah, like, dance. Yeah, something like yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know why uh, why she thinks she's gonna win a lawsuit. It's just funny that we were talking about all these things. Wasn't that, it a like, contest to be in the? Yeah, it's just I like think the these parents, they see all this money that Epic is making. They're like, we got to get a piece of that. Like, I'm sorry, a dance, a dance is not intellectual property. It's not. All right, so here's the, there's, she filed eight complaints versus Epic Games. Uh, direct infringement of copyright. Uh, contributing did did he copyright the dance? Can you even do that? Yeah, this, this, is, this is crazy. Uh, on behalf of her son, also known as Orange Shirt Kid, uh, claims that Epic... What in the? <laughs> so they said that the catchphrase was his. Orange shirt kids protective creative expression likeness and trademark without consent of the thought of authorization. Okay, so I'm sure this is going to be a quick case. That if it was a contest, I'm sure it said if you submit it, uh, you're you're good. They even linked the uh, on line 28 of this uh, lawsuit. There's a link to his YouTube video. It's kind of funny. Put me out. I'm done. Good show, guys. Remember, dudecomedy.robinhood.com. Go get yourself a free stock. It's all free. Well, I mean, yeah, it, the stock's free. But if you want to, if you want to, you know, buy stocks, obviously that's not free. But you get one free stock, one free blue chip stock, correct? Well, it's like Sprint or blue chip. Thank you to our sponsors. <laughs> Uh, link down below. Go get it. Bye. Have a good day, you motherfuckers. Bye. <laughs>